right, pool videos, man, I love to do them. They're just awesome. The amount of information you gain, that I gain, from a pool video makes them well worth my while. So I've kind of wondered throughout my fishing career about topwater baits. There's a few things that really kind of pique my curiosity. One of which, what does a topwater sound like underwater? I mean, we all hold them, shake them. We know what they sound like in the air. What do they really sound like underwater to the fish? Also, and this is something that's always kind of driven me crazy, anglers pick out topwater baits depending on the color of the back. I know I do it, and I know most other anglers do it. When you ask somebody what color topwater they were using, they mention the back color. But does the fish really see the back? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. When you're working a bait, does it kind of flip over so that back is then the bottom? Doesn't seem like it, but maybe that's the case. So there's a few things I want to find out in this pool video, but I'm going into my local academy right now to go pick up a bunch of different topwater baits, and I'm taking them to the pool of a friend of ours to see how they sound and how they look in the water. Also, how easy they are to work. I can't wait to see what this teaches me about which really are my favorite lures to use, topwater baits. All right, I already picked up this one H2O Express brand. It's a model TWS. Seems kind of quiet, but it's a very inexpensive bait, so we're gonna give it a whirl. But this is kind of the mother load of topwater baits right here. We've got a vast assortment right here to pick up and choose from. And this one's on sale, it's a super spook. Very, very popular topwater here in South Louisiana. This is only $2.98, so I'm definitely buying this one. All right, they also sell a chug and spook. Again, not very loud, but these are very, very popular here in South Louisiana, so I'm certainly going to give it a whirl. All right, I made my purchase. Now it's time to go see how they look in the water. Needless to say, I mean, Neil's living in a nice neighborhood. All right, so what we're looking for today, basically three parameters that I'm gonna be scoring each of these baits on. Price, workability, basically how easy the bait is to work, and also sound. Now, I will admit, like everybody, I have my own biases. I really like a loud topwater bait. Uh, I find they're much more productive. Now, if you're fishing on a flat, calm day with beautiful water, you may not want to throw a very loud bait, but anything other than that, I want a bait that's going to make a lot of noise. Some of these are louder than others, I know that, but I want to see how they sound underwater. So what we have here are 11 of the most popular topwater baits in South Louisiana. I'm going to see if I can get through all these without, uh, without messing up. This is an Egret Baits Ghost Walker. This is a Bomber Badonka Donk. It's a Matrix Mullet. This is a she dog, sounds like. This is a Rappala Skitter Walk. This is a Chug and Spook. And this is that Academy H2O Express bait. Never fished with this, but I'm curious to see how it works. This is a Rattle Trap Stutter Step. Top dog, full size top dog. Full size Super Spook. And last but not least, a mirror lore product called the Sea Eyes. We're going to try each one of these baits in the pool. We're going to put the camera underwater, see how they sound, see how they look. And remember, I'm definitely going to be looking for if these baits roll or not. All right, let's see what happens. All right, first up is a Ghost Walker. This is a top water made by Egret Baits. All right, the sound of this bait is better than average, but definitely not spectacular. Let's listen. I can say this right off the bat, the bait is definitely easy to cast. It's very, very heavy. You can throw this thing a mile. I've fished it before, I know. You can throw it a good distance. Now, it doesn't look like it's rolling at all. It looks like it's staying straight up. Of course, it doesn't matter on this bait because it's uniform color throughout the belly and the back. So I'll be curious to hear how it sounds underwater. It is pretty noisy. All right, next up is the Bomber Badonka Donk. Definitely a much smaller, lighter bait. We can see how this one works. All right, if you listen closely, you can hear a subtle noise on this badonka dog. But it's not a whole lot. All 
I really expected this to be more difficult to work, but it wasn't at all. It was actually very, very easy. Did not seem loud at all. This bait is quiet. So that can help on a really flat, calm day, but uh, when it's got any wind at all, it's not the best. All right, next up is the Matrix Mullet. Kind of a uh, in-between as far as loudness, or at least in the air it is. Okay, this bait is really erratic. Look at it. It's got tons of roll, and it just looks kind of crazy. It's not going to score well, but I really like the intangibles of this bait. All right, so the Matrix Mullet, I can tell you, not as easy to work as that Bomber Badonka Donk was, but it's definitely noisier. Got a lot more rattles in it. At least above water, it seems a lot louder. We'll see how it sounds underwater. And I definitely, while I was retrieving this bait, saw it rolling. As I mentioned, we all have our biases, and this is definitely mine. This is a Miralor Sea Dog. I love this bait. Now, that's not to say I haven't been beaten by other people throwing baits other than this when I was stubborn and, and, uh, and sticking with the she dog. But it's a very, very loud lure, easy to work. Now I do want to see how it looks with the underwater camera. So let's check this out. Wow. I mean, this just sounds like Satan's baby rattle underwater. How could a trout not hit this? All right, from up above, I definitely saw a little bit of roll in the bait. No doubt about it, definitely saw some roll. I'll try and slow it down with that underwater camera and see if it's significant or not. But this bait is really, really easy to work, no doubt about it. It's not, uh, it's not tail weighted. You know, a lot of people like tail weighted top waters. This one sits flat in the water, but man, it just works. I can tell from experience this bait works. All right, so this is a Rapala skitter walk. A lot of people down in this part of the country pronounce it Rapala, but it's actually Rapala. Now, this bait is extremely popular with many of the trout fishermen in the state that I respect most. But I've gotta say, I don't think I've ever fished it. That may not be true, I may have fished it a few times, but I generally fall back on that she dog. But this is definitely a popular bait. Let's see how it works. Now, I gotta say, I really like this bait a lot more than I expected to. Sounds great and it's got a ton of roll. All right, it's definitely workable. I mean, it's easy, easy to work in the water. Uh, I didn't see it rolling so much, but that may show up more in that underwater footage. But it's, it's got more of a pop than it does a rattle. You know, Cheetah Dog kind of has more of a rattle. This is more of a pop. It still sounds very good, though. It sounds very loud. Uh, I, I got to say, I'm impressed. All right, next up is a head and chugging spook. It kind of combines the best of two types of baits. Uh, a walking bait, a Zara spook, or a chugger bait, like a, uh, a chug bug. It's got a cup face, as you can see. So you can work it either way. Either walk the dog or just kind of chug it along. Uh, let's see how it looks. The chugging spook was easy to work as a walking bait. But looked terrible as a chugger. All right, so I'm not very impressed with it as a chugger. It didn't spit water. It was kind of difficult to work. It almost looked silly in the water. As a walking bait, though, it did pretty well. Not as easy to work as some of them, but still not bad. Unfortunately, it's kind of quiet for my taste. Next up is the H2O Express TWS. Definitely an inexpensive bait. It's got some sound. Certainly a more slight bait than, say, like the She Dog or the Skitter Walk. Let's see how it works. All right, this bait didn't walk all that well. 
and it was really kind of quiet. All right, definitely not as easy to work as some of the baits, and, and certainly quieter than several of them, but noisier than some of the others. Not bad. Probably a good bait for the price. All right, this is a stutter step. It's a fairly new bait made by Rattletrap. I've fished this once or twice, so I'm a little bit familiar with it, but let's see, uh, let's see how it looks. Now this bait was tough to get a consistent walk the dog pattern with. But check out how it held almost entirely in one spot. All right, definitely not as easy to work as some of the baits. No doubt about it. Took, uh, took some effort. Now one thing that was kind of cool about the bait, you could work it in almost one spot going back and forth. Maybe it's because of that tail that's poking down, kind of holding it in one spot. But uh, sound, eh, it's okay. Rattle trap, you kind of expect it to be a bit noisier, but uh, we'll see how it sounds underwater. All right, this is a full-size top dog. Probably more popular in South Louisiana as a top dog junior. It was definitely the hottest bait in South Louisiana until the she dog came out. And everybody seemed to gravitate toward that. But if you're fishing trophy trout, you don't want these bigger baits. We're gonna give this one a whirl and see. I know it's gonna be easy to work, but we're gonna see how it looks and how it sounds underwater. Now the top dog is just too quiet, but man, does it look good underwater. Very workable and a tremendous amount of roll. Look at the blue. All right, as far as workability goes, it, it literally does not get any better. Definitely the most workable bait I've thrown today, and I certainly saw some roll in this bait. No doubt those fish would occasionally see that blue as you work this bait, so certainly more important than I initially thought it was. But again, I want to see the underwater footage to see how it looks. I don't know, maybe my mind will be changed, or maybe my mind will be blown, who knows. All right, also another very, very popular bait among trophy trout fishermen. This is a super spook, massive bait as you can see. Very, very popular here, also very, very productive. Kind of more quiet. Let's take a look. Super spook, really easy to work. But far too quiet for my liking. and it had almost no roll whatsoever. You better make sure you like the belly color of whatever super spook you pick out. All right, yet another bait that's just super easy to work. Maybe a hair below the top dog, but man, that's picking nits. Really, really easy to work. And you know, this thing weighs a ton. So you could probably empty your spool cast and you could throw this thing a mile, but it is heavy. Just like the, the full size top dog, you work this all day, you're probably gonna be worn out but uh, maybe be worn out from reeling in five pound trout. All right, this is the last top order we're gonna be checking. This is another product made by Mirror Lord. It's called a Sea Eyes. And it's really kind of designed to, to look better than some other top water baits. Actually, I have fished it a little bit. It's not my favorite. I much prefer the Sheep Dog or a Top Dog Junior. Let's see how this one works and sounds though. Okay, another bait that's really easy to work, but is just too quiet. It's got some roll, no doubt about it. But not as much as some baits. Alright, workability, again, very, very good. All of the Mirror products, really, really easy to work. Uh, but I just don't like the way it sounds. Now, I think it rolled a lot as I was working it in. We'll see if that shows up from the underwater footage.
Man, this was really educational for me. Certainly a whole lot of fun. I already learned a lot. And I haven't seen underwater footage yet. Really looking forward to that. Well, hopefully you got a lot out of it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to Marshman Masson on YouTube. And leave a comment in the comment section below. What are some other pool ideas? We got access to this beautiful pool uh, 365 days a year. So what would you like to see us work in the pool and shoot a video of so that you can learn more about how your bait looks underwater? Let us know and hopefully we'll be able to feature your favorite baits in a future video.